वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू नाउ व्हाट इज मे विद आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू वी ऑलरेडी लर्न इन द आर्थोग्राफी प्रोजेक्शन दे आर गिवन द थ्री थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी आर कन्वर्टिंग द थ्री डी ऑब्जेक्ट इन टू टू डी मीन्स वी आर ड्रॉइंग द फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू एंड साइड व्यू बट इन आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू और आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन इज द रिवर्स ऑफ आर्थोग्राफी प्रोजेक्शन इट मीन्स इन आइसोमेट्रिक प्रोजेक्शन फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू फ्रंट व्यू साइड व्यू और ऑल दिस थ्री व्यूज आर गिवन सो Depending upon these three views, we have to create a 3D object. Now, in isometric projection, let's see this example. Now, in this example, two geometries are given. One is above reference line, and another one is below the reference line. So, as it is above reference line, above reference line, we are drawing the front view and side view, and below reference line, we are drawing the top view. So, as this diagram is lies above the geometry, so it means this is the front view. So, this is the front view. And this one is the top view. so we are they are given the front view and top view of a geometry now if you observe the front view so it is a rectangle and if you observe the top view so it is a so square uh, front view is the square and top view is again the square so it means if we consider these dimensions this is 40 by 40 and this is 40 by 40 so in front view we can observe length and height of object and in top view we can observe length and width of object so length height and this width of object are 40 so it means this is the cube so we have to construct this cube in isometric projection so this is the top view and this one is the so this is the front view and this one is the top view so if we take the projection let's see here the projections are not given if we take the projections in another direction so these projections are lies like this so it means this is the cube now how to construct the cube so for drawing isometric projection firstly you have to construct a cube which has the maximum possible dimensions length width and height so here the front view and top view is the square so this is the cube so dimension or cube of 40 so maximum possible dimensions are 40 by 40 by 40 so let's see we have to construct one cube so how to construct that cube firstly draw a horizontal line draw any point o on that line now take a protractor from this point o at a 30 degree angle mark a point draw a line drawing this one Now same here. This is a thirty degree angle. Now again same for this side. Measure a thirty degree angle. Join this one. Now let's see in the geometry. If you see, observe the front view and top view. So in front view, this is the point O, and in top view, this is the point O. So it means this geometry, this square, will lies. This O will lies at this point. So let's suppose if I to construct this one at this side. So this position of O goes over here. If I keep the diagram over here, so this position of O is goes. Over here, but in a diagram they are given the origin O in this direction. So I am just uplifting this one and placing at this position. So when you place this cube over here, so this O will lies at this position. So this one is the correct position of this square. This is the correct position of this square. So the maximum dimensions is forty and height is forty. So from this O, take a distance forty mm in a scale. mark point over here <coughs> now height is 14 so from this point o draw exactly vertical line of height 14 now again from this end point draw the vertical line of length 14 join this one okay now as this is the cube so cube has all sides are same so this one again 14 
height 40 then this length is again 40 this is 40 now it has this extended line now draw the parallel line to this line through this point and draw the parallel line to this point through this point to this line so draw the parallel lines the parallel line now here draw the parallel line to this line now this intersection so this is 44 four itself that is it is 4 cm and this is again 4 cm itself So this is the cube it's the maximum possible dimension so we have to construct the geometry in this cube but let's see as the 3d object of this cube this front view and top view this is the front view and this one is the top view so both are square so it is cube so this cube whatever we are constructed this is the maximum possible dimension geometry but this geometry is itself a 3d geometry of this front view and top view so this is over so this is the 3d object of given front view top view and side view now we are let's suppose we are making some modifications in this diagram in front view diagram and top view diagram so let's see if i make here a slot okay so this is some modification of this diagram here is the rectangular slot is given and let's see in top view the projections these dotted lines are seen so these dotted lines are the projection of this line okay so it means this cube has a rectangular slot at this face and whose depth is throughout the geometry so it means it will start on this edge and will end at this edge so it means this is the rectangular slot whose dimensions its length 20 height 10 and its depth this its depth is throughout 40 so i have to construct this one so how to construct let's see we already from this cube over here so measure the distance one centimeter here again from this measure one centimeter now through this point take exactly vertical line vertical line of a height one centimeter then here take exactly vertical height one centimeter then join this one then it is this one this is the 3d slot but it is not look like as a 3d so for what so i am drawing a parallel line to this line to these points now it will look like as a 3d geometry so this is the 3d object of given front view and top view okay now here here i some make some modifications in the given geometry now let's see in front view this dotted rectangular is shown now in top view this square is shown this is 20 and this height is 20 itself this one 20 itself okay so the meaning is that what let's see here this is the dotted rectangle it means in a front view direction we have a some slot now 
what is the geometry of that slot whether it is square with it, whether it is rectangle or whether it is semicircular or maybe it is circular so how to check that for that what i am doing i am taking the projection in downward direction i am just matching the projection in downward direction let's see as it is the slot so the if you observe the slot from its top so its edges are clearly visible so let's see its projection which are get clearly in a top view okay so let's see this this is the line which is clearly get visible so again if you take the projection in downward direction so in a top view this line is clearly visible so it means in a top face in a top face of a geometry we have a square slot whose depth is 10 so its length is 20 whose depth is 10 so i have to produce this square slot in this 3d geometry now how to produce this one so i am taking the dimensions it's 20 by 20 and its depth is <coughs> 10 so measure one centimeter here you can measure one centimeter here now from this <coughs> two points leave the space one centimeter here leave the space one centimeter so this is the parallel line to this edge again i have to draw the parallel line to this edge measure same one centimeter from this point o i can measure one centimeter from this point now as this is the total four centimeters will so leave one centimeter from this point from this point and leave one centimeter from this point so these two lines are parallel to these edges now connect this one so these two lines these two lines are parallel to these lines so in isometric position always remember that we have to always draw the lines which are parallel to these lines let's see it is x let's see it is y and it is z so we have to always draw the lines which is <coughs> parallel to x y and z now <coughs> this is the rectangular slot now its depth is 10 mm it means one centimeter so from this point measure one centimeter downward same now draw the parallel line to this end through this point now same here draw the parallel line to this line through this point so this is the 3d geometry of a given front view and top view so these are the some modifications of a front view top view of a given geometry so this is the isometric position we will see in next lecture how to draw the circle in isometric projection thank you for watching the video